I will never forget the hour, the second, or the moment that I realized that I needed to do the hard work to get where I wanted to be. My husband and I were living on love in a small trailer in Idaho. We had just had our first son, Ace. Then I will never forget a moment that a utility worker knocked on my door in the dead heat of summer. We had fallen behind. She turned off our power that day. My son and I spent his afternoon nap in my car with the air conditioning on. I'm sure that you can understand the disappointment and defeat I felt in those moments in my car. But as I did so, I came to a realization. It was my bootstraps moment, and a moment that changed the trajectory of my life. I made the decision to go back to school. Growing up in a really tight-knit family, that's where my interest was, was in being a mom and, and being there for my kids. And then realizing that I couldn't make that work was hard. I decided I wanted to get some sort of business degree. So I started searching for online colleges. And WGU called me. She said, you'll need to apply for our university. We want to make sure you're a good fit because we want to see you graduate. You know, that just kind of takes you back a step and it makes you think about it because she wasn't just calling as some rep from a university that was trying to get my money. She was calling as somebody from a university that wanted for me what I wanted for myself. I was already doing human resources work in the position that I was in. So when I had started some of these HR and these business courses, I was able to move through them really quickly because my experience and the work I was doing was really parallel to what I was being required to turn in for part of the university. When the kids were young and I had started WGU, Max and I were on opposite shifts. That meant a lot of studying late at night. Um, a lot of studying on the weekends, a lot of studying at nap time. If I wouldn't have had that flexibility of the online university, I wouldn't have been able to do what I did. You can be a parent and be a student, and it works. My undergraduate degree came paired with a job offer. So away we went. We had always wanted to kind of live by the water, so we moved over to the West Coast. When I went back to school to get my master's through WGU, I had already been working through HR. So while I was able to probably scoot really quickly through half of it, the other half was really, really challenging. Once again, I was able to kind of leverage my education to get my foot in the door to continue to grow my career. All of that MBA work comes in every day the same way that the HR work continues to come in every day. Misty is one of my assistant superintendents and she has an amazing way with people. It's not just a job for her, it's I think really a, something she cares deeply about. I would consider future WGU candidates in a very serious fashion after having hired Misty and seeing what she's capable of doing. When you talk about the things you're able to provide for your children that really make them grow into incredible people, if you have that education, then that's a huge asset to kids growing up, and that's what I wanted for my kids, and WGU absolutely has changed my life, and it's more importantly, I think it's changed theirs. WGU, while it gave me this academic degree and it's afforded me these opportunities and this lifestyle, it's also kind of shaped who I am and really let me see what I'm capable of. And there's no way to describe it other than to say that WGU was affordable and it was amazing and it has paid for itself and I'm sure it will keep paying for itself. I've got a lot of career ahead of me.